Bonjour, it's Tanisha and welcome back to another video. So it's been a while since I've last posted and I hope I'm not sounding too awkward in this because I forgot how I usually talk. But in today's video, I wanted to share this lamp that I received and also share a little painting when I was testing out this lamp. And this lamp was sent to me by the company BenQ and it's called an e-reading desk lamp. And I really wanted to try it out. So I wanted to see how it's going to go. And all my opinions here will be mine. And I want to just share my experience with you guys. But first of all, I really want to get it because it usually gets gloomy a lot earlier at my place. And I like painting when it's bright. Usually I love the sun to do that. But I wanted to see if I could go back to doing some art at night like I used to do back in high school. But now I just don't do it at all. So yeah, let's first unbox it and we'll test it out. You might notice that the location I'm at is a little bit different. I can't wait to share with you guys how this space is gonna look like. But for now, let's just look what I'm trying to unbox. And I definitely needed some help to open it. I mean, it's not that heavy, but I usually like some help with installing everything. So I got my partner to open stuff for me and also just move it around. I was supposed to do it myself, but then he ended up helping me with most of it. And I was watching <laughs> but yeah i swear sometime if i'm by myself i'll try to do things on my own but i was happy to get some help with unboxing this anyway enough with the rambling but as for the lamp itself i don't think it was too difficult to install it had pretty much just a couple of components and then you just have to attach it it came with its manual with pictures to show you how to assemble it the base was really heavy so be careful when you're handling that do not drop it on your feet i don't want you guys to cry but it was a strong sturdy base and you can put it anywhere it won't tip over so i really like that about that and i also really love the sleek look of that lamp my partner wanted it for himself and I was like no I want to try it for myself so let me just try it out when I'm painting and then we'll go from there Alright, it's the night time and I am now testing the lamp and it comes with a little knob that you can adjust the lighting and then you just tap on it to kind of get different settings that you have. So I really like how easy it was to just set it up and with the way that it's shaped, it's supposed to even out the lighting throughout your table and it's supposed to be better for your eye. You have to place it at your eye level and it will not strain your eyes. So. Yeah, at the same time, I got a new sketchbook that was sent to me by Etcher. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'll link it down below. But they sent it to me for free just to try it out. And I wanted to do it at night and see if I could relive my childhood self that I used to sketch around a lot at night. So let's get started. And I know this is not a review about the sketchbook, but I really like the pages. So that's why you see I'm touching it a lot, but the light was reflecting well on it. It was not, uh, what is that word? Not glaring. <laughs> Oh, there was no glare coming off of it so the light did a pretty good job especially the paper had like a interesting texture to it so yeah it was a little bit glossy but the light did well i was able to see what i was looking at and i did set it up to like a warmer tone because that's what i like at night and it's not too harsh on the eye so yeah i was liking it so far And as far as seeing my colors, it did a pretty good job. I don't think I was seeing colors differently. I could tell my red, my purples, and my green, and my white. So 
It was all good there. And I wanted to do a simple painting, so I decided to just paint over only a tiny section of my sketchbook and do like a quick landscape, something I'm comfortable doing. So the only variant here would be the light itself and then I'll see how it turned out in the end. And so I started by painting with my gouache colors that I usually use. Um, I did start using the gouache colors in the beginning more watery and I feel like I did have to add a lot more layers for that paper but I was able to work around to be able to fit for this paper need. But for the light I was happy so far how I was looking like and I could see my colors clearly. My eyes were not being strained too much and I love that, I don't know, with the way that it was curved it was even out everywhere and and I really enjoyed it so yeah and do not mind my head coming into the frame I tried to edit the video so it doesn't come as much but sometimes I like to go into my painting a lot <laughs> so yeah hope you don't mind that And right over here, you can notice that I did have the shadow of my hands while I was painting. Well, it weren't affecting me as much. I think I was also trying to be cognizant of the camera that was also getting the angle. But there were some shadows, but that's normal. That's at night when you turn on any light, you'll have some shadows. But I wanted to get at the part where sometimes I do paint at an angle. So maybe if I set up, because this light can actually move, you can move the handle so you could like bend it in a way. And I was thinking since it's movable, I could set it up and angle it in a way so it could still hit my painting as I'm painting. Because painting straight horizontally, you can't really tell unless you're like hovering over your painting. So painting at an angle will help. And I think this light should be able to help with it too. I was done with my painting and I had planned to only do a painting but somehow after doing this I really got the itch to sketch some more landscape 
and the paper was calling my name and I haven't used any pencils so I used pen to check out the lighting it was great using the colors it was great the lighting and I wanted to see how it felt like sketching with this lighting and I really enjoyed the process as you can see I was writing some codes I was in my own zone and just creating a sketchbook for me to kind of enjoy in the nighttime or whenever really hence to me this light just added on more time for me to be able to create and not limit myself to wait for the sun of course sometimes I'll get some different kind of inspiration to paint when the sun lights out but now I can be more creative at night if I want to and I really appreciate that so if you guys are interested I have linked down this product down below and yep I will see you in the next one Allez, bye